Hey everybody, happy Saturday. I'm in the kitchen and cooking. I am making some pulled pork. I just got it in the crock pot and it's gonna be good. Very excited about this. I hope you guys are having a good Saturday. And then I'm gonna go Zoom, bye bye. Hi everybody, Robert Jones back in the kitchen and I've got some big meat. I got a big pork loin here today and I'm gonna be making some pulled pork. It is hotter than hell this week. It was 103 in Santa Barbara yesterday. And I don't know about you, but I don't feel like cooking much. So we are gonna be doing some crock pot recipes. So um, this is gonna be a little mini series here. We're gonna do pulled pork sandwiches and along with that is gonna be the pulled pork. And then we're also going to do an onion relish, a red onion relish. And then we're gonna be doing some butternut squash puree on the side, maybe with some candied pecans or something exciting like that. So I'm very excited about doing that for you guys today. So um, let's get started. I got the big meat. We're going to put it in the crock pot with some spices and then we'll do it for about six to eight hours and then we'll make some sandwiches. All right, let's get going. All right, you guys, I am over here at the cutting board with the big meat. So just to let you know what we got here, we, it says 7.52 pounds. I'm looking at the label. Seven and a half pounds of pork, but I also know it's got a lot of juices and stuff in here too. So I'm going to guess it's about about seven pounds. This is a pork loin. This is a rather large pork loin. You don't have to use pork loins. You can use pork butt. You can use pork shoulder. You can use whatever you want. I'm using this because it's low in fat. It makes great pulled pork and it's pretty darn cheap. It's only $14.96 total price at $1.99 uh, from Costco. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this and I'm not going to, I won't show you the gruesomeness of it, but I'm just going to take this, I'm going to unwrap it, I'm going to wash it, and then I'm going to cut it into about uh, five inch sections. Here is my crock pot that is going in, it's about that deep. So I just want to make pieces that will sit down in there and cook in the sauce. This is fairly easy, so what we're going to do is we're going to cut this up, we'll put it in the pot, we'll put some sauce on it, and we'll turn it on. That's going to be it. So, let me unbloody this and move on to the cutting up part. All right, so there is a little bit of fat on here, and I'm not that worried about it. I might cut a little bit of it off, but I do want some of it in there, and, you know, when, when we're doing the pulling part, when we're pulling it apart, if there's big hunks left, I will just, just take them out at the time, so it's not a big deal. Okay, so I'm just going to cut this into, like, I don't know, four-inch pieces, I think. You can see there. Look how delicious that pork is. Roll that delicious pork film. Nice sharp knife always helps. Okay, you guys, so I tested to make sure the meat was going to fit in here, and now here's what we're going to do. We're going to take this, we're going to take the pot, and we're going to put just a couple, a little tiny bit of oil in here, maybe about, maybe about a tablespoon, just so it doesn't stick to the bottom while it's cooking. Ugh. My cork's so tight. Okay, we're going to put about a tablespoon of that oil in the bottom. Okay, we're going to cut about a cup of barbecue sauce prepared. If you don't want the prepared kind, you can make your own. I just happen to have this on hand. And then I've got some sugar on spices and all things nasty. So I've got about a tablespoon of cayenne pepper. You can use red chili flakes. You can use less cayenne pepper. I like it a little spicy. And I have a half, a half a cup of brown sugar here and a teaspoon of dry mustard. You can use wet mustard if you have it instead. So put that in there. I also have two bay leaves. I'm going to put those in there. Um, just make sure you pull them out before people eat them because that's not good eats. I have some Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce. And I'm going to put about a tablespoon of that. Just Give it a little unctuousness. A little bit of that. Boom. I'm going to put a half a cup of cider vinegar. Cider vinegar. And then we're going to put in about five cloves of garlic. Mine is pre-chopped. You can put yours fresh. You can do whatever you want. So that's about three tablespoons in my book. Okay, and I'm just going to put a little bit of chicken stock. Because remember, the meat, as it cooks, is going to release a lot of juices. We can always add more juice. It's kind of a hard thing to take it away. Then just give it a good mix. Get all your all your herbs and spices mixed up in there. 
Oh, I wish you guys could smell this. The garlic, the barbecue sauce, the oh, all of it. The mustard, the Worcester. It all smells so good. And then, I'm just going to put the pork, stack the pork back in here. Oh, it smells amazing. So this is a really good thing because, like I said, it's been really hot here. And this is perfect for the big game. Or, on a day like today when you don't want to cook, but you need to feed a lot of people. So, alright, I'm just putting my hands in it. I'm going to massage all the juices all over the meat. And boom! That's it. You're ready to go. I'm going to put this on medium, probably medium high, for about four hours, and we'll see where we are. It may need to go as long as six or eight, but I don't think so, because pork cooks really fast. So, we will see you in the magic time. Okay, guys, we're going to check on the pork. It's been about five hours for the pork. Oh, my God. Gosh, it smells good. Can you guys see it's boiling back here a little bit? Got some nice, ooh, it's a lot of liquid, a lot of liquid. All right, so let's let's pull out a perky here and see how we're, how we're doing. Oh, look at that. The pork is done. So about five hours for that. And you can see the pork is pulling apart. I might let it go for another hour maybe. So I was thinking about the pork here a minute ago, and I think I'm going to have a little change of plans here. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the pork out of the pot, and I'm going to let the pork cool for a bit so that I can pull it apart. I will continue to let the juices um, evaporate in here, and then um, we'll, put the pool, we'll take the juices out, we'll put the pulled pork back in, and then we'll add enough juices to keep it moist. Okay, so I just have some bowls here just to put the pork in. To let it cool down because it's very hot all right just so you can see look how good the pork looks yum so our meat has cooled down here a bit so now i have a, a just a glass tray just something i can put this in to work with it a little bit here so i just like to check it with my fingers and then i just pull the meat apart just like that not a big deal i don't like to make it too small because I like there to actually be some meat feel. And you just keep pulling it apart. Okay, so here's a here's a here's a piece. That's pretty fatty, so I'm gonna take take that out. Okay, so now I'm just gonna put this back in our cooking liquid and let it cook for a little bit longer. Um, some of these pieces are a little a little tough still, but that's just fine. So we'll let it cook in there. Alright, we'll see you back in a bit. Okay, so I thought maybe you guys like to see. It's in the juice. I'm just punching it down here a little bit. Um, it's going to absorb some more of this juice and some more is going to evaporate because I'm going to leave it open. Um, it's just to thicken up the juice. Oh, you guys, it smells so good. All right, you guys, it is the moment. No, it's not the moment yet, but check it out. We've got pork, pork, pork. And it's all absorbed. And look, it's, it's not dry but it's got a little bit of liquid in the bottom, but it's nice and immersed. Our pork is ready. Oh, there's the bay leaf. Get it out when you see it. All right, this is gonna make somebody happy. As soon as their onion relish is done, we will fire this up, make it hot, and slap it on a sandwich. So excited. All right, Crock-Pot Nation, it is ready. So I let my meat sit overnight on just warm. You can see it's all nice and falling apart. Can you guys see that? A little dark, let me see if I can lift some up. You guys can see the pulled pork looks delicious. So let's make a sandwich and give it a little taste. All right, oh yeah, yeah the pot's a mess, but you know, that's just what happens. All right, we are gonna make the pulled pork sandwich. I'm so excited to show it to you. So I've got a couple pieces of sourdough bread here going in the toaster. All right, got toast. Not too dark, because I don't like it too dark, so, okay. We've got our bread. Ow, it's hot. Okay, bread. We're going to put some nice Munster cheese. I love me some Munster cheese. Then we're going to take a big dollop of our onions and smather them on there like that. Onions. Okay. Then, got our hot pulled pork here. Put a couple good dollops on there. Like so. How good... How good does that look? Let's see. Look at that. Big, oh, let's turn it the right direction. All right, look at that. Big, 
sandwich. Let's cut our sandwich in half here so we can actually try to eat it on camera. Look at that. All right, let me show you before we get to the camera part. Look at that. That's a sandwich. We got our onions and our pork. Oh, it smells so good. It is the moment you've been waiting for. It is the moment you've been waiting for. Hey, Craig. Hope you're watching. All right, you guys, check this out. Sandwich, it looks like a big old mess on a plate, but that's what it's supposed to do. It's pulled pork sandwich, and I cut it in half so I can actually try to eat it on camera for you guys. So, how can I, sh how can I show this to you guys? So, check it out. Can you see in there? You can see the dark part is the onion, and the light part is the pork. And I just want to eat a piece of pork first, just to give it a little try. Um, mmm, moist, delicious, not too sweet. It's got a little bit of sugar in there just to give it the barbecue flavor. And, um, oh, and I forgot, there's cheese in here too. So let me see, how am I going to eat this? I'm going to try. All right, you guys. Making a mess all over my face. Mmm. Mmm. This is four of my favorite things together. You got sourdough bread. Who doesn't love sourdough bread? Munster cheese. Love some Munster cheese. Pickled onions cooked into a relish. And pork. Pork. It's so good. One more bite. Mmm. All right. Mmm. I know what I'm having for lunch. What are you having for lunch? By the way, serve this with the squash. Hold on. I'm back. Serve this with the squash. Look how good that looks. That is autumn on a plate. So delicious. All right, you guys. Hope you enjoy this, and I will see you soon. Bye. Okay, you guys, it was a long road to get here. No, it wasn't that hard, was it? Cart pup recipes are a breeze. Just put the stuff in and boom, you got stuff to meat stuff and stuff and stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed how to make this pork sandwich. It's not that hard. Um, again, you don't have to make the relish and you don't have to make the squash. You could just make the pork and put it on a bread or get a fork and just eat it out of the pot. That's up to you. Um, this is the perfect recipe if you got a big game day coming up. Yay, sports! or whatever, but uh, check it out. All right, you guys, if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. Come on back. Uh, what else? You guys can check out my blog. It's E-U-D-A-E-M-O-N-I-U-S-M-A-R-K-I-I -I at blogspot dot, excuse me, let's try that again, dot blogspot.com. There's no at, it's not an email address. What else to tell you? You guys, uh, I'm on Snapchat, I'm on Instagram, I'm everywhere, I'm sweating, it is hot. It's okay. You will survive. I will survive. We will make more sandwiches together. Thanks, you guys. Have a good one. Bye.